Okay, hi. So this is a smooth muscle model. First of all, smooth muscle has spinal shaped cell, and this one is shaped uh, spinal shaped cell. And it got one nucleus right here, so it calls as uninucleated. And as you can notice, the outer segments of this um, of this model that there are no striations like we can see in skeletal muscle. Smooth muscle usually activated in voluntary action such as helps move the food in our body, blood throughout our body. The dark one is the actin and the light one which is orange in color is the myosin filament. These are, this is uh, mitochondria that helps create ATP for our energy for muscle contraction. In smooth muscle, we have uh, autonomic nerve fibers compared to the somatic nerves that we will see in skeletal muscle tissue. So we have autonomic muscle fiber here, the brown one, that are innovating this smooth muscle and these little budges right here are called very varicocytes. Fibers are stimulated by a certain neurotransmitters that is familiar. Usually, this is going to be a norepinephrine or acetylcholine hormones that can stimulate smooth muscle or autorhythmic signals. Okay, next, I explain about the contraction of smooth muscle. So, here we see this is a plasma membrane and here is a channel ion which allows the calcium inside. Remember, most of your calcium will come from the extracellular fluid. So this is calcium. So when we're talking about smooth muscle, some will come from the sarcoplasmic reticulum that you see right here. And that calcium make its way into the cytosol. So as that calcium becomes available here, so the carmodulin will become activated. So the activated carmodulin will be like this. Okay, this activated carmodulin can then activate a kinase. These are myosin-like chain kinase and they can then catalyze the transfer of this phosphate from ATP to ADP onto myosin. So in addition to the intermediate filaments, um, still have actin and myosin and they are attached to the dense bodies as well. And so you still see the kind, this kind of sliding filament mechanism which moves to the left and this moves to the right like that so how my model can help me and other people in learning process is i think it can improve system understanding through visual analysis and other than that it can also discover error earlier and reducing system defects so what makes my model is a unique model is i think it is because I make it as a 3D model, so I think people will easily to understand the system by looking at the 3D object.